ハイパースピードメディア。What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we've got a special episode with our special guest here, Mr. Antoine, the OG Miata, Philly Miata guy in, in、uh, Philly.、Mm -hmm. So,、uh, what's new with you, Antoine?、Uh, not much, man. You know,、uh, still working on my project. You know, it's an ongoing process, it takes a while, so I'm still working on it. Yeah. So, how long h o w long you own the Miata?、Um, since 2020. Yeah,、mm -hmm. so one thing I have to give it to you that like you're very humble and you're, you're willing to absorb the knowledge. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of times people just kind of think they know it all, you know?、Mm -hmm. So, but being humble and learning everything, that's just kind of like skyrocketing your, your,、yeah. your ability to build cars. So, I appreciate、yeah. it. Well, what, what we wanted to do today is kind of like show off our top 10 items that we use to build cars and stuff like that, or、mm -hmm. whatever you have is top 10、mm -hmm. for this. For 2024. Yep.、Oh. And also, we got a challenge 15 question, and we got a challenge. If we get it wrong, we got a bunch of beef jerky with really hot spices, Reaper, right? Cal Carolina. Carolina <laughs> Reaper, yo. The hottest spice that you can buy. <laughs> that's gonna be like the last one, okay? Yeah, the one that's gonna be. So we're gonna go up on the l i n g on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, all right, well, let's cheer to that. Cheers. Chris, cheers. Cheers. All right. In 1989, at the Chicago Auto Show, the Mazda Miata was debuted with what price tag? How would, it, how would we know that? Okay, you got $14,500, $13,800. Twelve nine hundred, A, B, or C, D. Okay, I'm gonna go with thirteen thousand eight hundred. I'm gonna go with thirteen also because like eighty nine. That's a lot back then, right? Right. All right. What's the answer? You are correct. Yes. <laughs> All right. We can drink to that. Drink to that. <laughs> My number ten item would be. My hood props. They're actually shocks from Flying Miata where I don't have to use a, a physical prop. I just open the hood, let it go, and it lifts all the way so up. So it has a shock, right? On the yeah, side? Yeah, two of them, one on each side. Okay, yeah. So when you're showing off your engine bay, it's actually cleaner because there's、mm -hmm. nothing on stuck in the middle.、Mm -hmm. And when you're working under there, you don't have to keep avoiding that prop.、Mm, cool. Yep.、Yeah. All right, my number 10 is. This is my、uh, number 10. It's a wheel lug extractor because I was fixing somebody's car and it had a wheel lock in there. And usually you could bang a socket to get it stuck. And then,、mm -hmm. But this thing was in tight and there's no grabbing power. So my. And, and it was the only way to get it out. So I used one of these wheel lug extractors. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So it's better than the socket. You can use the socket if you got the right size socket. My socket was like in between, it was too small or too big. So, this was the only choice, and that's my、oh, number、cool. 10. Number 10 tool. All right, number two. Ready?、Mm -hmm. In 1992, the infamous Starburst Sunburst Yellow、mm -hmm. was introduced as a $250 option. How many units? Were produced in the US. So, A, you got 1607, so 1607.、Mm -hmm. You got 1505, 1519, and 1597. Let me see. That's hard. All right, I'm going to guess 1505. I'll go with the higher number, 1607. It is 1519.、Cool. So for the Sunburst cars, I know it actually has it badged on there.、Uh, oh, of how many produced? So. Okay, well, all right, so. We both got that wrong, so we so both we gotta, have to do something. Oh my God. All right, let's, let's start off with the easy one、uh, just the spice. Just,、uh, how about this one? This、it's、is. Squid. Oh my goodness. Prepared shredded squid. Spicy. spicy. All right, open it up. That's not that bad. Spice wise. 
We're about to find out. Whew. Have you tried that before? It's oh, gonna no. smell like fish, man. <laughs> it's not spicy at all. Yeah, go ahead. So actually, a lot of Asian people they, they eat this with beer. That's all they do. Oh yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Finish. It's that. not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. My second item would be my laptop bracket. I'd use it because I'm constantly tuning. I drive around and record data logs all day. So instead of having it sitting on a seat, I actually have a bracket where it floats next to my radio. Okay. Really convenient to touch because I have the touch screen laptop. Right. So it's like a big laptop just hang on mm -hmm. the side of your dash. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that. It's actually a small laptop, but. Yeah. Okay. My number one, my number nine or whatever is battery charger. Because I got so many cars that I don't drive as often, and the battery always dies. So this is like the number one, one of the one. That's a jump box? No, it doesn't really jump. It just keep a, a battery tender. Oh, just a tender. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Man, this thing works great, though, I have to say. Cool. So I use this a lot, so that's why I am recommend getting that. It's like 25 bucks, too. So Okay. The original Miata with the 1.6 engine in 1989 came up came with 116 horsepower and 100 foot pound torque. In 1994, it received a power bump with the 1.8 engine. How much power did the new design make at the crank? At the crank or wheel crank? So that's their. So pretty much the question is about their advertised numbers for the new Miata. Yeah. Um, hmm. All right. So we got number A. 129 with B. 110 foot pounds of torque. B is 128 horsepower with 109 foot pounds of torque. C is 120 horsepower with 115 foot pounds of torque. And D is 125 horsepower with 114 foot pounds of torque. Hmm. I'll go with D. 125. I'm going to go with. No, no, I go with B. That's the one that I was going with. We, wait, 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 yeah, we, we, we B, 128 horsepower with 109 foot pounds of torque. All right, B. It is A, it has one more, 129 horsepower and 110 foot pounds of torque. Oh, goodness. All right. That wasn't even spicy, right? No, it wasn't spicy. Yeah, I told you. All right, we got to bump this up, though. man. We got to bump this up. Yeah. <laughs> Next question is going to be a little bit easier. All right, so, I mean, it's not even that spicy anyway. All right, beef jerky, just kind of enjoy that one. Spicy beef jerky. Let's get a bigger one. How you going? No, you, <laughs> this is fine. All right. What's your number three item? Hmm. My number three item would be the cordless Milwaukee 3 8 ratchet. Okay. I never even saw one until I saw you working with it and I mm -hmm. seen how convenient oh, yeah. it is to use it. Oh yeah. So I've actually bought one and I brought my brother one for Christmas. Time saver. Yeah. Just time that one, saver. That mm -hmm. one item alone yep. saves so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yep. Um, if I didn't use that throughout the years, I would have put that on, but I use it so many times. So yeah. <laughs> All right. My number three is uh, Apple, Apple AirTag. You know what that is? Yeah, it's a tra tracker. Yeah, so you can put it in your toolbox, your whatever, your car, you can put it in your car, um, everywhere. You can just lay it everywhere so you keep track of all of your stuff. Mm hmm Okay, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so NB category now? Right, the NA Miata stopped production in 1997. There was a break in production and the newest generation was released. How long did the new version of the NB1 last? Oh, that's easy. Mm-hmm. We know that one. 99 to 2000. Yep. Correct. <laughs> that was easier, so we don't okay. have to eat anything. Cool. When he spoke about the AirTag, <laughs> it made me remember a feature that I have on my car. 
it's a company called Drone Mobile that actually has a monitoring sy system on your car. It reads your battery, exactly where your car is located. It tracks it live. You can put up geo fences. Oh wow! Um, that way, if the, if somebody if you let somebody drive your car around the block and they drive a little too far, if the car stalls, they they won't be able to start it up. And uh, it's a pretty cool feature, and, it, and it's relatively cheap. It's about 20 bucks a month for monitoring service. Okay, so it uses uh, some kind of data, SIM, is, is, SIM is, card? Yeah, it's, it's, no, <clears throat> it's actually in, in your car. It's hooked up to your, well, I have a CompuStar alarm, and it's hooked up to that. Mm -hmm. And it uh, actually gives you live, live real-time GPS, and it monitors your battery and uh, does a couple other things, but I can't remember them all right now, but I know it's a really cool okay. piece to have. So like a lot of companies where they've got company car and they could track the uh -huh. put something yep. like that. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. So my, um, it's a, um, the walkie talkie that I bought this year. So it's a, uh, you know, like you mount it right into your dash. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to use the Bofe walkie talkie kind of like this. So this one is mounted straight into the dash and you just kind of talk. It's much better than the regular walkie talkie we always use on road trips. Mm -hmm. It just, I don't know, it's just so much better. There's no static and nothing. So, oh, that's my. Oh, so it's like a CB radio. Yeah, like it's fixed right into the dash, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to, like, I don't know, it's just so it's much better. better. better antenna. Yeah, reception quality is better, sound. quality is better. Cool. It has a lot of different option, frequency, and all that stuff. It just works so much better. Nice. So that was my, because we do a lot of road trips, so right. that was my number four. Yeah, I got to get my walkie talkie game up. The NA and NB are very similar in parts and, and parts are interchangeable. However, which part on the list is not compatible? A. Lower control arms. B. Door slash window moldings. C. Soft top frame. D. Fuel pump cover. Um, I'm going to go with B. Door and window moldings. Same. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait, you, wait, 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 you wait. already answered. Wait, is it, is it door or door or, or door, door molding? So, so pretty much it's the molding trim around the doors that meet the windows. Oh, okay. If, all right. So I don't want to go with B then. <laughs> I thought you meant the whole door. All right. Oh, so. see, I thought it was the door too. So it has door slash window molding. The one that's. That's. I'm gonna stick with that answer. For going and. You know, all right. I'll go with. I, I'll go with the same B. So actually, it is the fuel pump cover. I was oh, about wow. to go with that. I thought you'd set the door. If, if it's door, I would have went with door. Yeah, we but can that question, if you want. that's all right. Yeah, we're, that's we're, cool. we're lost. All right, let's try it. This one is the Reaper <laughs> Smoke Beef. We're not in the Reaper <laughs> Smoke Beef. You know this is going to end the interview, right? Come on. Do you do you realize what you have there? This is nothing. Come I got on. this right before. No, let, let me get a small piece. Because I really don't want to do this one. It's not even real Reaper. Okay. It's not. It's not. All right. So, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, nothing. You got a small piece. Look, I'll eat some more. It's heating up. <laughs> I, I, I ate the big piece. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but it's heating up. Okay. All right, so we just got to continue with that, and then the last one, we'll use that one. All right? Okay. Well, I feel it. Woo. But still, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right, my next item of my ten, top 10 favorite things is my killer glass insert on my coolant reroute hose. You guys will see a picture of it later. But it's a... Um, it's a piece of glass where it's clear, where you can actually see the coolant flowing through the hose while the car is running. And the harder you drive it, the faster the, the coolant flows, and you can see it, and it looks great. So it's just more for looks, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's more for looks. But. Okay. It's a borescope for your phone. Mm -hmm. So they sell one where they have the screen on there, but I like this one because you can pack in your tool bag. And just in case you need to look into like, you know, whatever mm -hmm. piece, like even hard to reach bolt in the back of your engine, whatever. <laughs> Plug this into your phone tide. And here's you got the camera. You kind of check it out, whatever. And it has a light in there. And it has attachment. 
if you need to pick up something, you can just screw this on there. It has a magnetic or, oh, or wow. a clamp where you can pick up stuff. Hmm. Yeah. So it's using your phone to monitor it. So it's even better because you carry your phone everywhere. Right? Yeah. Pretty cool item. Beef jerky's got my nose running. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Huh? You said that's not real Reaper? Wait till you try the next one. Get pepper? Yeah. One flake? Yeah, all it takes is one. one That's flake. all it takes yeah. for me to be rolling on the floor? Jeez, that reaper is real reaper. <laughs> Number six. The NB had many color combinations. Which one did it not have? Evolution Orange Mica. Black Cherry Mica. Liquid silver metallic, Nordic green mica. I think I'm gonna go with Nordic green mica. Liquid silver metallic. It is C, liquid silver metallic. Eat up. <laughs> it is a color combination on the N6. Notice the NB did have a lot of green colors. That's a that's an easy question for me. You know why? Why? Because all the like color codes are mica, 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 mica. So that was like easy. So I have to eat another one. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pick, pick a smaller one. Oh yeah, I'm looking for it. You're the, the NB guy. Yeah, I'm the NB guy. Keep getting NBs. <laughs> Here's the nothing. All right, so I got <clears throat> got this right here. Now what this is? Let me see if you, so this is my item. What, you know what that is? This is a tube bender. Chris, you know what this is? I'm going to say a small tube bender. Nope. <clears throat> so this is a tool to cut your oil filter. Hmm. Yeah, so you want to check to make sure, you know, like there's no uh, metal particle in, in oh, the filter. Nice. So you put the filter right here, clamp it down, and you spin the filter and open, open it up. And you don't want to cut it like manhandle it because mm -hmm. you're getting uh, metal shaving in there. Right. So you want to slice it open without that. It's like a big can opener. Yeah, exactly, for your oil filter. So that's right. my number, what is it, number six, whatever. Oh, cool. All right, <laughs> now, with me, I'm going to go with my 10-inch Android radio. Um, the reason that I like it so much is because I can actually run MS, a program called MS Droid on it, and it'll give me uh, real-time information coming from my ECU, and I can connect to it through Bluetooth. Okay, cool. So you can monitor everything through Tuner Studio, I guess. Everything, like, yeah. MS Droid is, is from Megasquirt. Yeah. Yep. Is there any lag into that? Like, well, I haven't... Ex <clears throat> I, if, if there is, it's very small. It's more lag when I'm using my laptop than it is when I'm using MS oh, really? Droid. Probably wow. because it's, it's an it's a app that was made to be used with the Megasquare. Number seven. NC. Like, oh, I don't know crap about NC. <laughs> All right, so hey, go for it. The NC was the first me out of the debut of power retractable hardtop that still holds its production in the RF variant of the ND Miata. Mm -hmm. What year was that option introduced? Okay, what's the option? The re power retractable hardtop. I mean, what the, year? Oh, the, the, the years are 2005, 2007, 2008, 2010. I'm going to go with... 2008. I don't know if I want to go with that. I, <laughs> I'm going to say... <clears throat> I'm going to say 2007. It is 2007. Okay. Eat up. All right. <laughs> I get the bigger piece. How about that? Oh, I'm immune to that now. I can eat that whole bag now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Then. <laughs> that's, that's mean we got to spice it up then. With what? With that? Oh, yeah. Oh, not yet. Let's, let's get... Another one? Okay. My next item would be my fogs. 
Your what? My fog lights. Oh, okay. And the reason that I really like my fog light, first of all, I, I haven't met a fog light that actually helped me through fog. But when I have them on along with the Spec D headlights, the LED Spec D headlights, they look really great because they're ice blue. Mm -hmm. So when I turn them on, I know it turns a lot of heads and people really noticing them. And I like the way that they look, the, uh, the light combination. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. My useful item or whatever is this. Hmm. What is it? It's a cordless tire inflator. Oh yeah, it works so good. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I pump. I pump. Oh, it's cordless. Yeah. Wow. It, I, look, it's right here, and you put the stem right here. Look, oh, wow. you just kind of connect that, mm -hmm. turn it on, and it got a big display. Um, right here. It works so good. Hot. And you just turn it on like that. Uh, like, you could put your tire pressure to whatever tire pressure, mm -hmm. and then you activate it. It's loud as hell, but I pumped four car. It still had a little bit of battery left. Nice. I like Useful, that. man. I like that. I'm yeah. gonna have to get one of them. It's, yeah, it's good to much. carry around in the car. Yeah, yeah, it's not that much either. Yeah. All right, we're in number. We're on number eight now. In the Miata community, the NC is always referred to the heaviest Miata. How much does it weigh in the soft top variant? What's the option? 2,510 pounds. 2,490 pounds, 2,450 pounds, 2,525 pounds. I'm going to go with 2,510 pounds. 2,450. One of you correct, one of you is correct. It is 2,450. You knew that one already. No, I don't. <laughs> I just know they're not that heavy, as people say. Yeah. Oh, cool. People call it All a right. boat, but... Pass me a piece there. of that, that candy over there. Hey, man, you stop yeah. cherry picking it. Get, get the bigger piece now. All right, I close my eyes and get a piece. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now, I got, now my nose is running now. Yeah, yeah. All right, number nine. Mine's the partner with all these manufacturers previously. However, only one of them had involvement with the MC, MZR engine. What the heck is that? I don't even know what that is. So that's the 2.0 that's in the MC. All right, so the option is Ford, Suzuki, Nissan, or Toyota. I'm gonna go with Ford. I go with Ford too. It is Ford. It is Oh, the bigger the piece is, the hotter it is, I see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've been eating all the bigger ones. All right, so what do you got for your next item? Mm. All right. My next item, which is one of my biggest favorites, is my dual-tip Borla exhaust. Even though it's coming from a single pipe, the dual-tip exhaust, uh, I had... I purchased a racing beat one first and I really didn't like the sound because it was very mild. But when I put the boiler on, the first thing that I noticed that there was an increase in horsepower. The car was a lot peppier and yeah. it sounds a lot deeper. I mean, of course it's not as deep as a V8 because it's a four cylinder, but right. it sounds awesome and I really like it. Borla dual tip exhaust. All right, cool. So this is one of my favorite items that I just recently bought. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to ask both of you what, do you, what is it first, and then you tell me. <clears throat> Hi. Spicy. That is a thingamajig. <laughs> what is it? I have no idea. What is it, Chris? I'm going to, I think it might be a pump. Connects right up to the battery and I can see those two little pieces down at the bottom. Oh, siphoning pump. So, it's, it is a pump. It's a oil pump. 
So instead of like using the extractor and all that stuff and draining underneath your car, you plug one side into your dipstick line, um, drain a hole, mm -hmm. and the other side, a hole straight into like a uh, oil canister. Okay. So it pumps directly from that into an oil canister. Man, I just used this. This thing is freaking game changer. This is the, this is the easiest way to change your oil right now. Yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> You, you want to do 10 instead of 15? Yes, please. All right. You'll stick with 10. All right, so if it's 10, we got to go with the final one. Already? Yes, it's the last one. This is, this is number 10? Yeah. Number 13. So we're doing number 13 will be the last one. And we are putting more spice into this uh, Reaper smoked beef. So we got the whole Reaper what is this? Uh, flakes? Lava flakes? Mm -hmm. Lava flakes. So. You're not about to put that in there? Yeah, yeah, that's the final one. You gotta go for it. I thought we was just gonna put like a flake or two in our hand and, and eat it. Come on, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm already on fire over here. Man, look, you didn't even sprinkle it. You trying to pour it. That's the only way for it to come out. It doesn't even stick to it. Look at that. Oh my God. You're trying to kill somebody. All right, how about this? We'll just put a little bit of lick off of it. Okay. All right, all right. All right. All right, here's question 13. Okay. Tom Matano is known as one of the primary developers in creating the Mazda Miata, but who was the one that created the first initial sketch prior to development? Bob Hall. Kenichi Yamamoto, Yoichi Sato, Shunji Tanaka. I'm going to have to take a guess. And I'm going to say Bob Hall. All right, let's go with Bob Hall. That is correct. Yes! Okay. Yeah. Before it was brought to the... Yeah, because he, he was the guy that told everybody, like, you got to make a British racing car. Like a, 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 like a variant of a British racing car, Roadster. And then uh, he was, like, really into that. That's what's missing in the marketplace. And the thing about the, the uh, British racing car is that they always break down, but he wanted something that doesn't break down. And Practical. Mazda, yeah. Right, and I have another question too. Does anybody know what the MX it, what MX Five stands for? They have MX on everything. Mazda Experience. No, no, yeah. no. It's not experiment. Mazda Experience. So MX stands for Mazda Experience. I could be wrong. No, but it's experimental. It's, it's yeah, experimental. they went through they went through four other versions of it before the fifth version. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but MX stands for experimental, not experience. Experimental. Huh. Okay. Let weird. me let, let's let's fact check that though. All Go, right. So Go if we're wrong, the... I'm going with. We're you gonna eat that reaper. Experience. I'm saying yeah. experimental. Yes. So if we're wrong. We're gonna eat that reaper. Okay. What does MX5 stand for? Ooh, like MX-5 it. stands for Mazda Experiment and Project Number 5. Damn. <laughs> so I got to eat this with the flake? <laughs> I was coughing, just sniffing this. Sniff that. Oh my goodness. Spicy. You want to try it, Chris? Last one. We'll try a little bit. All right. Give me, give me a little dab. Nice. Whoa. Look, he's still me here. Hold up, I'll take a little bit too. All right, last that's one. enough. That's enough. All right, ready? Last one. One, two, three. You're gonna kick in. Don't worry. Or you like kicking? That's kicking. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're immune to it now because we ate so many of them. You 
Kicking in? Mm-hmm. I don't feel nothing. Did we skip a number? I think we skipped one or two. <laughs> well, just your last item. All right, my last item. I think we skipped one. Is because somebody told me that, that there's a lot of things that I can do myself with the car. Um, actually, Sita, um, when he made his front splitter and all of that stuff, and I was like amazed by it because I didn't feel like I could be able to do something like that. And the very first time that I made my front splitter, of course, it was a, it was a experiment with it, but it turned out pretty cool. And I, and I really appreciated the advice yeah. on doing it myself <laughs> instead of going out, spending a bunch of money for something that wouldn't need, I wouldn't even be attracted to. Because I look at a lot of splitters out here today, and I don't even like the way that they look, you know, the factory ones. Mm -hmm. I like being able to fabricate and enjoy something that I made myself. So cool. that's probably my that's number great. one. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And, you know, like, you, you gain so much experience <laughs> from that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just built, like, instead of buying stuff, you can build your own stuff. And mm -hmm. you know what? Like, you feel proud for doing that, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, all right, so my number one. <laughs> you feeling it? Okay. <laughs> Not that bad. All right, my number one item. <clears throat> I made a whole review about this, so here it is. This is the new VFO 4K dash camera, a 229 Pro dual channel. That's my number one. I recommend, it doesn't matter what you have, what car you have, I recommend you just getting a dash camera for your car. So this one has the new Sony Starvis 2 sensor, so it's really good for low light. And it's 4K on the front and 2K in the back. Really good, recommend that. I've made a whole video. Um, <clears throat> you'll see the video out soon. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's my number one, I recommend it. Just like, even if you get a, like a crappy dash cam, just get it. Like, it's the number one thing for your car. Right. Like, I actually, actually um, I got in an accident with my, my Subaru, some guy crossed a red light, hit me on the back. It was, if it wasn't for the dash cam, I, you know, are you feeling it? <laughs> Wait for the dash, you know, with the dash cam, I, all I did was sent the footage to the insurance company. Mm -hmm. They knew exactly who was at fault and they sent the payment. It was that easy. Nice. Yeah, my tongue feel like somebody's holding a lighter to it right now. Uh, <laughs> well, all right, so we'll, we'll We'll just end this video then on that note. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys, thank you for watching. And I hope I uh, want to wish everybody a happy New Year's and a uh, successful year. And we'll see each other again on 2024. And are you going to be out of the gap this year? 2024. I mean, I want to. <laughs> you got a plan and just go for it. I'll, I'll try to figure it out. And you me out of guys out there. Uh, look for us on Facebook uh, on Facebook under Philly Miata. You don't have to be exactly from Philadelphia to, uh, to join. Uh, you know, we want to build a community, man, so we can have a good networking, a good networking uh, 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 link. Connection. Yeah. So, guys, make sure you tune in. All right. That's a wrap. See you guys. Hyper Speed Media.